Hey guys, how are you doing? So today we're gonna go with a Japanese Kamisori razor. It's a Hoshi Tombo 6000. And uh, I've said it's a really nice razor, really funky blade, quite short, uh, quite uh, thick, I believe it's a 6 8, and made in Tokyo. So one thing I noticed. Uh, although it's a kamisori, looking at the way the spine has been grinded, uh, it seems that the previous owner has honed it like the same way as a Western Europe uh, razor, so on both sides of the bevel. So we're gonna check that on the um, on the microscope. But yeah, usually a kamisori will be mainly honed on one side and almost nothing on the other on the other one um, so we need to have a look under the microscope if it's the case uh, which would be a shame but if it's the case we'll probably have to to see if we can correct that so that's one side so we can see looking at the edge that is being honed with a slurry stone and that's the other one so yeah, it's a very wide edge also, so it's been definitely honed on both sides. I don't know if the previous owner used a specific ratio or used the one-to-one -one like a normal razor or not, but what we're gonna try today is to use the Shapton 1K and redo a soft of Kamisori bevel. We'll use a ratio of one to two. Uh, Kamisori could be like, seven to one seven to two uh, but because this one has been honed i would say badly for chemistry we need to, to go halfway and we'll use the one to two so here i use the atoma 400 to raise the slurry we won't use any tape on this one because the spine has been already badly damaged and we have a very um high bevel we're gonna use the, the sharpie to see if the blade is flat That's it, and let's start. So it's not a guarantee that um, that's gonna work, but we can have a try now. So let's see if the blade is flat first. Yeah, it seems okay. The sharp is gone, and on the other side. Let's see. Yep. So yeah, the blade is pretty flat, which is good. So now we go for 10 laps on the flat side. And five on the other one. So the goal here is to really see if we can still keep or recreate a sort of commissary ratio and see if it works. Okay. That's it. So let's try the blade. Have a look at the light beam on the head on the edge. And see under the microscope. Looks decent. So most camisory steel is quite um, would be quite soft. So we've got to be careful to not put too much pressure. Okay, that's perfect. We clean the blade. We clean the stone. Dry it. And now we move to the chapter on five K. So that same thin layer of water. And we'll keep the same ratio.
Let's try to keep the blade nice and flat on the stone. Let's see at the beam on the edge. Um, here I can see a little mark, different light on the nose. So let's see under the microscope if it confirms. Yeah, yeah, here it is. This part here hasn't been touching the stone properly. So let's do it again on the 5K. We're gonna try to concentrate more on having the nose touching the stone. So not, no need too much pressure on it, just enough to have the nose touching on both sides. Looks better, no? Yep, we're good to move to next stone. Let's dry this one. And we're gonna move to the J nut. So it's a Nakayama LV5 from uh, Kyoto. In layer of water and we're gonna start with our first slurry stone the Asano Nagua comma uh, sorry Asano Nagua uh, Tenju so the Tenju has a grid on uh, 7 to 8k that's it we have a nice slurry now And here the trick with the camisole is to try to not um, carry the whole slurry uh, with the first lap and really save some for the for the four others. Otherwise the grid will not be the same on each lap. So here we move to a ratio of five to two and a half which makes it easier with the slurry. All right, let's have a look now. So that's good. The slurry has erased most of the, the marks. Still have some, but should be all right. Let's rinse the stone and we can move to our next slurry stone, which is the Asano Nagoa Mejiro. So the Mejiro would have agreed at around 8 to, I would say, 9k. So at this stage, we don't need um, almost, almost no pressure. We don't need any pressure almost. Just the blade weight is enough. But we need to make sure that the blade is again very flat on the stone. And really keep checking our slurry that it's moving well with uh, the different laps. That's it. Let's have a look. No. Okay, that's getting better, slowly, but getting better. Perfect. Now, rinse the stone and moving to the last Asano Nagua, which is the comma. So the comma is extremely hard and would have a grid of um, 10, 12K. So we're gonna raise a thin uh, slurry, which is fine. And again, almost no pressure on this. Just the blade's weight is enough. And now we're gonna move to a ratio of 
2 to 1. So this is not a normal OT ratio for a, 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 a good condition commissary, but this one has clearly been modified by the previous owner. Okay, let's have a look now. Okay, that's nice now. It's getting quite nice. Nice, flat. That's great. So we're gonna clean the stone and use our last slurry stone now, which is a uh, Tomo Nagua. So the Tomo Nagua will give us um, a grid at around 15k. And this slurry will be uh, brown compared to the Yasano giving a white slurry. And same, a ratio of 2 to 1. And with this one, we're going to cut uh, in the middle of the process the slurry with some water just to make the slurry even thinner. and have a higher grid. Okay, we are done. Let's have a look. All right, it doesn't look too bad. So now we can, we have cleaned the razor. We will do 150 laps on a uh, on the strobe, laser strobe. So I will use a Kanayama here. And I've done the hair, the hair test. It was all right, not amazing, all right. I did then a shaving test, which was okay. I got an okay shave, but uh, it wasn't the most comfortable one. So because of the, the fact that the bevel has been set differently from a Kamezori, I decided to actually put back this razor on stone and to this time, um, do a one-to-one -one ratio, the same as would be a European or standard uh, non-camisory uh, razor. And actually, I got a much better uh, edge. And just purely because the previous owner did it this way. Otherwise, that wouldn't be recommended for camisory. And here is the hanging hair test after doing that. So it cuts perfectly well the hair. Now this razor is totally silent. It's, um, I would say, close to a wedge and doesn't give any sound. But that's all right. Yeah, perfect hanging hair test. So now I've been doing another shave, so a few days later, with this razor to see if it was better. And for this, I used the Mitchell, Mitchell's Wolfat soap. And that was a complete different experience. It was just perfect. The razor was super smooth, shaving from super close. Uh, no burn, nothing. It was just great. Hope you liked the video. If you did, I appreciate the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you could do it. Thanks a million. And I would say see you soon. Bye now.